something that doesn't sound so bad. It actually sounds really great. A solo Hawkeye project coming from Marvel Studios. Now, uh, on the Monday show on the TV cast, we actually talked about this as a TV show. We talked about it a little bit. A little bit. We didn't talk a lot about it. We only mentioned it briefly because we're more so talking about Nick Fury, the TV show possibly happening. Uh, but a solo Hawkeye project. It's not said whether it's going to be a movie or a TV show, so there is a possibility it could still be a movie. All we know is it will be on Disney Play, but that doesn't mean it won't be a movie. No, we don't know that for certain. Really? Is that? What, I thought that's what everybody said. Okay, yeah. that's a correction. If it's a movie, it's probably going to be in theaters. Okay, no, that I mean that doesn't mean they can't have movies on Disney Play. I mean, right? it, it doesn't, but it's, it's not like. So okay, well, okay, well, it's not confirmed to be on Disney Play. I thought I read it. Uh, that's my bad. Uh, appreciate Mitch for the correction. Uh, but I would like to hear what you guys think about if it were to become a movie. Would it work as a movie? I know as a TV show, everybody's. Is hoping for it to be that, but it could still be a movie. Yeah. I mean, I can. I'll just think guys first. I've already spoke about it a little bit. So. I mean, it can be a movie. It's just well, like what time period or what time period it's gonna actually gonna right. be. Right. Um, it's there's two options I think right now. It's either going to be set between Avengers: Infinity War and Avengers Four. Um, I don't know how that would work because Avengers Four is going to look to undo that time period between the two movies. Um, either that, or it's going to be after. A, Avengers 4. That's uh, where it's going to be. And it's also, yeah. it's being mentioned to be Hawkeye training in a new protege. Ah, uh, so, so the new Hawkeye? Essentially Kate Bishop. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's going to be Hawkeye and Hawkeye. Right? <laughs> that won't be confusing. But it, it would be, it, it would be pretty cool seeing Kate Bishop on, on screen getting getting trained. And uh, is she, like, in her, in her current comics, is she still a detective, or? Um, I think she is, yeah. She's lived in the West Coast Avengers at the minute, so I don't know uh, how okay. the Everything's gonna work into it, but yeah, because that's, that's why I was wondering if, like, you know, they would eventually have her, while you know, while Hawkeye's doing that, taking you know, taking jobs as a, as a part time detective and whatnot. Yeah, I'm wondering if they're gonna keep the Ronin persona for Hawkeye. That's oh, yeah, you know, for, that yeah. in the just movie, so like they could switch up, so it's not Hawkeye and Hawkeye, it's Ronin and Hawkeye, but. Yeah, it could it could go there. That. that that would that would be pretty in- interesting. But not a lot of, not a lot of people would probably want him to continue as running and and rather just be Hawkeye because like how many like how many movies has he been in? And he uh, hasn't like there's what there's Thor, two. there's Avengers, yeah, there's Age of Ultron. So like three or four, like three or four out of all the movies. Yeah, I, I almost said Infinity War, but he wasn't in that. So lol. Uh, <laughs> now. Do do we think that Avengers Four is set going to set this up? Whether it is a movie or TV show, will we uh, see I Hawkeye think... and may, maybe Kate Bishop, or will we just a reference to Kate Bishop, whatever it may be? Is it a setup? Um, I think it'd be smart to set it up, but I don't know. We, Hawkeye has his own subplot in Avengers Four. We know that much because he's in Japan. He's going against Kuza. Wait, we um, know. Oh wait, what? I was like, well, I thought you meant Infinity War. Also, I this is all news to me well, because I don't read any of this like rumors or of the synopsis stuff like that so it's all news to me um but he has his own like he will be in avengers 4 right is that like yeah. confirmed okay so and he's doing his own little subplot the thing is will we see that subplot right uh yes because okay i think it's involving scrolls somehow i'm not sure so and that's you know scrolls are going to be in captain marvel for anybody listening and that, that doesn't know uh they will be in the captain marvel movie which is actually be a couple months before uh, Avengers 4, so that's probably going to lead into that, right, where... Is it a month before? Because it's in Captain Marvel. Um, I thought it came out in... I, I, thought, th- I thought it came out in May. I thought... Yeah. Oh, it's, it's April for me. Yeah. Uh, so. unless, unless they move it back again. Well, also, they, when does Captain Marvel come out? March or uh, February? Six I think, yeah, I think it's like yeah. March. Yeah. Of like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like the week of March 10th, I think. Yeah, no, it's March 8th. Um, and also, I thought it came out May, so if it does, uh, I mean, they might do the same thing they did with Infinity War, right? Just kind of move it up a week. Um, who's really to say? But if it, if there is going to be a setup, I just, you know, it is going to be a big movie. I just don't know how much of time they're going to give to Hawkeye being set up for his own movie slash TV show. And I, I'm assuming they're going to try to, you know, two birds with one stone, right? It's going to be a part of the main plot, and also there's going to be some references to oh, yeah. him yeah. training and stuff like that. I, we already saw in Avengers uh, I mean, Age of Ultron where, you know, stuff like that. I mean, I mean, he has to get some uh, screen time because for anyone who wants to know, every time Hawkeye was in a movie, they won. Ah, huh? yeah, well, there facts, you go. Facts, He's undefeated. Yeah. 
He has an undefeated record. I saw wanted to make a sports reference there, but I know chat right now is kind of trying to bring out the notebook or the checklist. It's, it's, it's been a while since the Joe Bingo cards were coming yeah, to play. Exactly, so, bingo card. That's what it was. Like, <laughs> they are itching for that. Now, can I give it to them right now? Maybe later. Uh, I mean, you mentioned sports, so that's all. Really <laughs> I thought it had to be like an actual no. reference. No. Uh, but I was like, chat already check. Yeah, see, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but th this is uh, cool to see that Hawkeye is getting the love that we all thought he would. We all knew that, you know, over at Marvel Studios, they know the importance of Hawkeye in these movies and him as a character in general. And now they're starting to see it. And I, you know, I, I don't know. You didn't actually didn't put this on the news. I'm surprised you didn't because it is a big. It's a, t it's a TV show. That's why. Jeff. Oh, you wanted to save it. Okay. 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 You know what I was talking about, right? You know what I was referencing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're talking about the uh, Falcon and. Yeah. Okay. So we won't talk about it too much, but it is, you know, starting to see that they are giving a lot of these MCU characters that haven't had the most screen time. It's, it's basically another like everyone, it's like everyone that's going to be left over from Avengers 4. You yeah. can have your own limited series while the movies focus on the new lot. We'll right. eventually then bring the old people back in, even though they're not the old, they're kind of the, the 0.5 people back in. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, uh, you know, Hawkeye, what do y'all want it to be? A movie or TV show if you had to choose? If you had to choose which one? Personally, if I had yeah. to choose, yeah. I'd personally go for a movie because I think it'd be fa it's only fair that Black Widow gets a movie, he should get a movie as well. Okay, okay. But mm. I think it would work better as a TV show. Okay. Yes, same here. So I was like, I want, I would love to see it as a movie, but it would work better as a limited series. See, uh, I just would love to see it as a TV show. I understand the respect you want to give. Like, if Black Widow's getting a movie, Hawkeye should probably get a movie too. Um, but I, you know, you said you both said it. It works better as a TV show because it is more long form, and you know, they both don't necessarily need the biggest of budgets because it is an a combat grounded level type of uh, action. So I just yeah, would love to like, see it as a yeah. TV show. Yeah, if like most of the movie it can just be practical effects. So exactly, and it's also it, the type of story that yeah, is, exactly that is being said to be the whole training thing works better in long form. I hundred percent agree because if we're gonna have to uh, get invested in K Bishop, and I mean we're already invested in Hawkeye with Jeremy Renner on the movies. But if we want to get invested in Kate Bishop, I'm sure they'll do a great job if they did a movie, but a TV show would make it so much easier because we'd have more hours to spend uh, with her. And okay. Plus, you know, it's it's eight hours of development, however much she's going to be in it, for when she eventually gets to the movies, because you know they're going to go back. To oh, I'm sure. And look, when you see when you talk about like the Disney Play stuff they're doing as well with the TV shows, you know that they're probably going to start developing stuff that hasn't been in the movie, so that eventually will be yeah. in the movie, you know? Because um, we yeah. now know that, well, I mean, you, you could have guessed it before, but Vision's going to be in the Scarlet Witch show. Yeah. So, speed and Wickham babies! Or, what, what did you say? If uh, TV shows could get Oscars, that's the, that's the one that's getting it. No, that would be, be Tom King's Vision. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. That'd be great they'd have that. We'll talk about more about that on the TV cast, most likely. Um, because this is more on the movie side. It's kind of just on the overall uh, big uh, side of things. Um, chat just completely says that they would love to have it a TV show, to be honest. And I think everybody does. Everybody's been saying that, right? Because it just makes sense. It, we'd have more time with them. They don't necessarily need the biggest of budgets. It just makes a whole lot of sense. But I don't think well, anybody's going to complain is, if like, it's a movie. They're going to have a big budget. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah, so all these the Disney they're, they're Play be, stuff is... Yeah. Yeah. Basically, look at Game of Thrones, and that's the budget they're going to have. I mean, not gonna, it's not going to be like a Netflix or a CW situation. They are going to be. I you know. I just think that being in a limited series and not probably going to go on for more than one season, I'm sure it's like give it, throw out all the money because we're just going to do one one season, and we'll talk more about that if whether they're going to be one season or more. Actually, on the TV cast, uh, I'm just trying to see what Chad is saying here. Everybody's saying we love Hawkeye. The more the Hawkeye, the better. Um, because who does, you know, it's about time. Hawkeye deserves some more screen time. We it's didn't been, see him. It's been 10 years. He needs, <laughs> he needs some development. Uh, I was about to say 10 years. Yeah. Well, it, I guess in he, movie he, time, he, maybe. He, I mean, he yeah. was in Thor, so it's been nearly 10 years. For oh, Hawkeye, so. that, he, that he's been like yeah. in the movies. Yeah, I thought you meant since the last time he's been on, because the last time was uh, Civil War, Civil right? War. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, you know, he had a great moment there. Everybody cheered for when he came back and, you know, he was part of Team Cap and stuff like that. Everybody's 
just loves Hawkeye automatically. He's just one of those guys, Jeremy Renner, playing Hawkeye, where you just can't necessarily see a wrong with him. He just comes in, and it's like a heat check moment, which that's a sports reference. Uh, well, he'll come in, and he just lights up the screen, you know? He's just like, Hawkeye, yeah, like, he's awesome. He can, he can uh, mess around with everybody else, and <laughs> Game of Thrones check from chat because of Mitch. Um, I mean, you said, wait, did you say it as well? What no, you, you said it. I know I said it, but I wasn't. I couldn't remember if you said it. No, I think uh, yeah. uh, you had. But you said it now. You said it now because you read chat. So. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, tomato, tomato. Uh, but oh wait, let's see. Okay, never mind. Uh, chat just, as I said, everybody just loves Hawkeye. So 